Hello everyone, hope all of you are doing well. I am Dr. Hema Malani, Senior Consultant in Cataract and Refractive Lens Surgery Services at Narayan Netralaya, Rajaji Nagar. Today I am going to briefly discuss with you about some of the methods that are commonly used in modern day cataract surgery. Cataract surgery over the years has seen several advances in surgical techniques and operating devices making it possible to achieve perfect surgical outcomes. So what exactly is cataract? It is a natural clear lens that progressively starts becoming more and more opaque causing deterioration of vision. So in cataract surgery, this opaque or defective lens is completely removed from inside the eye and replaced by an artificial lens called the intraocular lens or IOL that restores vision. Now let me briefly talk to you about the, some of the methods that are available. Broadly, cataract surgery is classified into two types. The manual method where no machines are used and the machine based surgeries that include phaco emulsification and laser cataract surgery. So in the manual method, the cataract is removed through slightly larger incisions that are about 6 to 6.5 millimeters in size and the cataract is removed as a whole from inside the eye without using any machines or devices. So after the cataract is removed, the artificial lens or the intraocular lens is placed inside the eye. Here in Narayan Netralaya, cataract surgery is not performed using manual methods anymore. It is performed using machine based procedures that are more popular, for example like the phaco emulsification and the laser cataract surgery. In phaco emulsification or phaco as it is shortly called, ultrasound machine is used to perform the surgical procedure. A pen shaped device called as the ultrasound probe is introduced into the eye. The cataract is broken down into extremely small fragments which is then sucked out from inside the eye. Once this is completed, an intraocular lens that is foldable can be implanted into the eye using an injector. Now coming to the openings or incisions. So in routine or conventional phaco, the size of the incisions are around 2.8 millimeters in size. Whereas in the micro incision cataract surgery or MICS as it is shortly called, these incisions are much smaller and around 2.2 millimeters in size or lesser than that. Smaller incisions allow use of advanced phaco surgical platforms, making them minimally invasive and also it is possible to use advanced higher end lenses that can be implanted through these small incisions, allowing us to achieve perfect surgical outcomes. Now next, I will be speaking about the differences between the blade versus bladeless phaco surgery. So what exactly are these differences? In the routine conventional phaco surgery, the incisions are made using surgical knives or scalpels. Whereas in the bladeless phaco method, these incisions are made using the laser energy itself and making them therefore far more superior, accurate and much more precise. Secondly, the opening that is made in the capsular bag, in the laser procedure, these openings are perfect in size and shape, well centered, allowing perfect centration of the lenses within the eye. Also in the laser surgical method, the laser energy itself is used to break down the cataract into smaller pieces, making it therefore far more easier for the surgeon to use lesser amount of phaco energy to remove these pieces from inside the eye and it results in quicker time as well to perform the surgery. So although there is difference in the methodology of performing the surgery, the eventual visual outcomes in both does not really vary. But the laser surgical procedure has a far edge over the routine surgical procedure both in terms of safety, accuracy as well as precision. So this was in brief about some of the popular methods that are used in current day cataract surgery practice. I hope you found this of some use to you. We'll be glad to answer any further queries pertaining to types of cataract surgery. Thank you. Thank you.